A cordial greeting. Today is Thursday, September 19, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will be providing an update on the possible development of a tropical cyclone in the waters of the Western Caribbean Sea or the Gulf of Mexico during the upcoming week. This is related to a Central American gyre that is projected to develop over Central America during the weekend. There is a possibility that several low-pressure systems may form in the Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico, or the Eastern Pacific, with some having chances for cyclonic development. Additionally, in the latter part of the video, I will discuss some tropical waves emerging from Africa toward the end of September, which also have the potential for cyclonic development as they move toward the west-northwest. In this infrared satellite animation, we can currently see some areas of rain affecting Central America and Southern Mexico. However, the Central American gyre, a large circulation over Central America, has not yet developed. Over the next few days, especially by the weekend, weather conditions will begin to deteriorate across Central America. As we saw in June, this could lead to a significant rainfall event that may cause widespread flooding across Central America and Southern Mexico. For example, here we have a forecast of accumulated rainfall anticipated over the next five days, until September 25th. In orange and red, we can see regions where over 200 millimeters of rain may accumulate from the weekend until the end of next week. In particular, areas of Costa Rica, Western Nicaragua, Southern Honduras, Eastern El Salvador, and Southern Guatemala are expected to receive the heaviest rainfall. Residents of Central America should stay alert to updates on this forecast. Also, notice the considerable rainfall in the Western Caribbean Sea, associated with the potential development of a tropical cyclone that, in the long term, could threaten parts of Cuba, Florida, the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, and states bordering the Gulf of Mexico. Let's take a look at the latest projections from global models regarding the potential development in either the Western Caribbean or the Eastern Pacific. But first, I want to mention that at 2 a.m., the National Hurricane Center increased the probability to 40% that a tropical depression could develop in the Western Caribbean or Gulf of Mexico over the next seven days. Let's check out the American GFS model projection. By Sunday morning, it shows the Central American gyre circulation established over parts of Nicaragua, Honduras, El Salvador, Panama, and Costa Rica. Then, between Sunday and Monday, the model projects a low-pressure system may develop northeast of Nicaragua and Honduras, potentially becoming a tropical depression or tropical storm by Wednesday or Thursday, just east of the Yucatan Peninsula and Belize, and eventually moving into the Gulf of Mexico. We are looking at very slow development, which is typical of broad circulations related to the Central American gyre. We'll be monitoring this potential cyclonic development over several days. In the longer term, the GFS model suggests that if a tropical cyclone develops, it could move toward the southern and southeastern United States. However, this is a long-term forecast, and much could change in the coming days. The European model also projects the Central American gyre to develop between Saturday and Sunday. Like the American model, it shows a low-pressure system forming east of Belize or north of Honduras between Monday and Tuesday of next week, eventually reaching the Gulf of Mexico. This projection spans 10 days, so we are discussing a long time frame, and it's likely that global model projections will continue to change over the coming days. Similarly, the German model, in about five days, agrees with the development of a low-pressure system just east of the Yucatan Peninsula. In this case, it also sees the development of a low-pressure system south of Guatemala, which suggests the possibility of two cyclones, one in the Caribbean Sea and another in the Eastern Pacific. The UK model shows similar development in the Eastern Pacific and Western Caribbean. We can see that there are many scenarios, from development in the Western Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, or even the Eastern Pacific. Since it will be a slow development, we still don't know precisely where this potential tropical cyclone might head. This uncertainty is normal when forecasting the Central American gyre, and at this moment, it's impossible to predict which region may be impacted by a tropical cyclone. We have a lot to watch over the weekend. The ensemble members of the American model mostly agree on a potential track near or over western Cuba, eventually moving toward Florida. However, this is subject to many changes, and will depend on where the low-pressure system develops. I expect that by Saturday or Sunday, we will have a clearer picture. I encourage you to stay tuned to Hurricane Info for updates. Meanwhile, Central America prepares for a heavy rain event starting this weekend, and lasting through the middle and end of next week. Briefly, I also want to mention that we will be monitoring one or two tropical waves emerging from Africa next week. Some models show potential development into one or two tropical cyclones, though they are preliminarily projected to remain on an open Atlantic track, similar to Tropical Storm Gordon. These are the projections from the American model. However, if these waves take longer to develop, they could move a bit further west, though this is currently the less likely scenario. Overall, the ensemble members of the European model also favor west-northwest trajectories over the open Atlantic. So at the moment, the Caribbean region has little to worry about. Well, that's all for this forecast update. I'll continue here at Hurricane Info, 
recording content to keep you informed about the Central American gyre and the upcoming tropical waves from Africa. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Go to the bottom of the video, click the red subscribe button, and then click the bell to get notifications when I record new videos. I hope everyone has an excellent Thursday. I will record the next video this afternoon or evening. Goodbye.